today we're going to create a new landscape material so this video will be split into two parts the first we will add the landscape height blending so we have the rock face and the other part will be adding the grass so first up we're going to create a new material call this our landscape and we're going to create a new material instance call it our instance and when we press shift and two or go here and select our landscape we will select our new instance we made and create our landscape now in our actual material we're going to just increase the roughness so we don't get the shiny look and what i have done is i have imported a few textures and meshes from the excellent set on fab.com which will be listed down in the description so where we're going to start is go landscape layer blend which will be our base color and from here we're going to add two layers one for dirt and the other for grass so in our set when we go to our textures we have all these tiles we're going to select our dirt tile going to select our grass tile and then we are going to select our rocks which will cover uh, the grass when the slope is high enough so our dirt will just be our dirt and it will just be our base to work off of to visualize stuff so next we'll need our coordinates so landscape layer chords and we'll just plug this into all three of them then let's make some room here for our grass and our rock let's actually switch them up and add a lerp or a linear interpolate so we're going to interpolate between the rocks and the grass based on an alpha this alpha uh, will be calculated with a world aligned blend there we go our alpha will go into our alpha then in here we're going to promote two values to parameters our sharpness and our bias and our sharpness will be 20 and our bias will be minus 8 these are just the values I found worked well you can always mess around to find uh, to find your own values when we apply this here on our map we can create or add layer info I've already created the layer info and when we sculpt not a lot happens on the dirt but were we to make this grass you can see that we now have the rock poking through when the edge is steep enough and there we go here we have world align blending on our landscape now maybe we also want grass to automatically appear so what we're going to do is have a landscape grass output there is a built-in feature for this then we're going to get a landscape layer sample of grass and here we're just going to create our grass type and we have none currently so what we are going to do is go back to our content in here we're going to create a landscape grass type we can just leave it as it is and here we can add a couple of our uh, varieties like our bushes or, or our clover patches but I like this grass if we save this and we plug our grass into our grass type then we select our grass type in here and we apply and when we save everything here you can see we now have grass but we have grass everywhere also on our rock which we may not want so we're just going to copy our current world align now we're going to go into an if statement and only based on that if statement do we get our grass so if our alpha is greater than 0 0.1 
or 0.8, sorry, if a is greater than b, then we'll have our grass. Otherwise, it will be zero. In every other case, if it equals or less, it will just be zero. When you apply this, you can now see that anywhere where there's rock, it will skip our grass.